Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about how to create or resize a photo and convert it to a passport size photo for your uh, passport visa or OCI appointments yourself for free. When I'm saying free, it is not only that you do not have to pay anything, but you don't need to even download any custom fancy software. So if you're using a Windows laptop that I have been using myself and I use the same to create passport size photos for, you know, uh, my passport renewal, my daughter's passport renewal and visa and OCI appointments. So I've been doing that all by myself and it will only take a few minutes. You know, it is not even a complex uh, thing. It's, it's just a very simple process. So why don't we just get started? So uh, one of the these I have listed on most common requirements that you need to work on for uh, converting your picture to a passport size photo. So the first and foremost one is about the size of the photo. So, they, you know, usually there will be different requirements for different countries, uh, passport or visa requirements. The most common one for an OCI appointment or for a US passport, US visa is that it should be a colored photo and the size should be two, two by two inches or you know 51 mm by 51 mm so let's say you have just clicked a picture um, of yourself on your phone and what you need to do is just copy that picture right wherever you've saved it on your system and just paste it so this is how let's say your photo is and now you need to convert it to a, a passport size photo so what do you do first simply just you know, whenever you, when you just copied this picture, this picture format tab will get enabled. Click on this picture format. And what you can do is just crop this picture. So let's say we don't want the entire body here in the passport size photo. So what we've done is we've cropped this to make it a little squarish. And this is once this is done, you just click anywhere on the side and this gets converted to a square passport size photo. Now, when you click, you know, again on it, if this picture format tab goes away, just re-click on this and it will come back. In this now, what you need is that the picture should be two inches by two inches. Now, a lot of people will get confused. You know, this does not show inches. What you can just do here is just type two IN, which is two inches. And what it has done is it has converted two inches into centimeters. But now if you see, this is not a square photo. This is not, uh, so the, the both these dimensions should be the same. What you can do is you can just click on here. This will just expand this window and you can uncheck this lock aspect ratio. What this is, it usually says that, you know, uh, if, if you're making your picture bigger or smaller, uh, it's not that the height, get, height gets increased too much or uh, the width gets increased too much. So once you do that, it, it tries to keep that ratio same when that picture was clicked or, you know, it's now that you crop. Just make it same as 5.08 and just click on OK. And if you see now, this is 2 by 2 inches or 51 mm by 51 mm. So you can simply, you see, you've just converted it into a passport size photo. Now what you can do is just control, I've just pressed control C, which is copying this picture and pasted this here. So that if you want to get a printout, you can just get rid of all this stuff that I have here. Just, you know, just make this and just uh, send it to, you know, you, you can give a print yourself or just send it to from wherever you're going to get this print out from. And, uh, you know, you can you can get this print out easily with the multiple pictures, not just one. So this is the first requirement of how you can change the size of your picture. Now, sometimes, for example, for an OCI appointment, what they'll additionally ask you is the minimum and maximum pixels that should be there. Now, this is something that is not available in Microsoft Word. Even though your picture size is great, if you do not meet these pixel requirements, you, you will not be able to allow to upload pictures somewhere. So let's say you've just right clicked on this picture and you know, you've know you saved it as a picture, which I've already saved uh, here. So once this picture is saved, what you can do is, this is with the passport size photo that you've pasted. And if you see the dimensions, it's 193 pixels by 193 pixels automatically. What you need to do is just open it with paint. Paint is now again a software that is usually available on all these uh, laptops for free. It comes default with the Windows, or you know, if you're using a, a your company's laptop, you might have uh, Paint as well. But uh, you don't need any fancy software to be downloaded from the web for this. Just click on this resize button, and what you see here is pixels. 
So whatever pixels are your requirement, you can just give that here. This one is 193. Our requirement was to make it minimum 200. So if you click 200 here and you know both ways because this aspect ratio is maintained we we already changed that there we made it a square picture so this is 200 by 200 you just click on okay and you just save this and you can now see that the dimensions for this ones are now 200 by 200 so that is how you've met the other requirement of changing the pixel of a picture as well now sometimes uh, like for example for an OCI you would be required to change the background of your picture uh, it should not be a white background it can be any light color gray yellow but it should not be a uh, white background so what you can do is for this one uh, even though you don't need to download any software what you can do is and what I did is for example I just wrote on Google change photo background online and I opened the first link, which is remove.bg. I have used this myself for uh, changing the background. And let's say I have already updated this Mickey Mouse picture here, and you want to change the background color. So notice this change image background, replace the background of any image for free. You just need to upload your image, click here, upload image. I've already uploaded here and go to background color and you can choose any background color. This is a great, online tool where you don't you know it does your job perfectly well and my picture was also accepted so let's say you've just changed the color here you click on download you save the picture and you can use it uh, for your applications so um, these are a few common things of how you can create a picture passport size picture yourself uh, i hope you find this useful uh, thank you so much